inside the garage. The Nassau Blue 427 that's been sitting up there for years. See if it starts. If it turns over. Oh, absolutely. I have to try. It's running. How long has it been sitting? Four or five years. Four or five years. Clock works. Tack doesn't. Good oil pressure. It's, it's unbelievable. Five years. Welcome to Hoobie's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and it is a quarter to six in the morning, and I can tell you with relative certainty that no YouTuber is up before the sun unless it is very, very important, and this is very important. It's the potential Corvette barn find of a lifetime, and it all started with my friend Rob, who is always searching Facebook Marketplace Craigslist for deals, came across a 1966 Mustang Fastback at a really good price, almost a too good to be true price, and he wanted me to tag along with him, and he sent me other listings that this person had for sale, one of them being a Chris Craft boat. He knew I was looking for an old woody boat to tow behind my woody, but the timing's not really right. But I noticed in the background that there was a pretty little blue Corvette, a Nassau blue Corvette, and well, it turned out it was for sale. It's a 1966 Corvette coupe with a 427 under the hood, the big block, manual transmission, of course, and uh, they were willing to sell it to me for a very good, if not too good to be true price. Now it's been sitting for a couple of years since the owner's health has uh, gone downhill, uh, but it seems like the real deal. There's a few other cars there, like a Porsche Cayman and an air-cooled Porsche and a Shelby GT350, a, a modern one. So this may be quite a find, but it's in Cuba. There's quite a ways, C Cuba, Missouri, which is about five and a half hours away from me in the middle of Missouri, right in the part of Missouri where you'd worry about, uh, well, things happening. But I'm not too worried. This seems like the real deal. And hopefully this Corvette lives up to, well, the very grainy photos that I've got. It's basically my imagination. I'm waiting for my friends who are chronically late and we will hit the road. The van is ready to rock with its mood lighting on at night. And Rob and Bill are here. Second truck and trailer. Hey guys. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I can't even see you in the GoPro. Hello, Rob. How are you? Good. Good. You brought your pillow? Oh yeah. That's, I'm too tired for these stupid decisions. You want to sleep in the back in the bed? I really do. He's I gonna. Really he's gonna nap. Yeah. Good night. Hello, Sleeping Beauty. Hello. First stop. Oh, that was comfortable. <laughs> Sleeps good back here. Yeah, I had the spa music going for you. <laughs> that was, oh my god, I felt like I was getting a massage. Well, Rob is quite energized from his beauty rest. We're here, he just ran up to the door because it was open. Here's one of the vehicles, a GT350. There's a couple old wooden boats here, a Chris Craft, but inside the garage. The Nassau Blue 427. That's been sitting up there for years. Uh, Rob is also interested in the Cayman and the 66 Fastback, which is kind of like mine at home. So he's potentially bringing these two back, but that's, that's all mine. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, Rob. Oh, my. Oh, my. And it's got a fade to it, but it's just the right kind of fade, isn't it? It's beautiful. Wow. Oh I can't believe I'm standing in front of it. So, a C code, which is the lower performance 289 on these, but. It doesn't look like that's what's in there. Is that no. The high -low? No, no. It may not be my car, but definitely. Some scoot aluminum radiator. I love the patina on it though. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it all. Are you sure you want it? I'm sure. Very <laughs> sure. Oh. Your poker face is gone, Rob. Yeah, I know. It's over. Wow. Look at that. Air conditioning? Oh yeah. my god, it's got air conditioning. Oh. Well, so this is awesome. The Cayman 
It's cheap because it's salvage title, but it looks really good. 2016 Cayman with a PDK. Yeah, well, I need to get that out and test drive it so I can get that down and start looking on it. Oh my God, oh my God. All right, we're out. Oh, look at that tachometer. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I mean, that etched paint is just, there's dust on it, but, oh, that's so cool. Where'd Rob go? Did he just drive off in the Porsche? Yeah. He's just, he's just gone. Well, I guess while he's gone, I might as well see if they can get this lift to work, huh? Yeah, it'll work. I okay. So that is a beautiful modern 427 in there. It's definitely, definitely a resto mod. Uh-huh. Yeah, inside. Okay. So he had fitted the trans but hadn't quite finished it, huh? Yeah. I don't know. So the trans is fitted. The shifter's there. It was definitely a work in progress, yeah. Yeah, it is beautiful. I love the, the hood, the back end of it. It's just beautiful. It come out of Vegas. That's where he bought it, had it shipped in here. Fuel smells all right. We put, we put that stuff in it. Oh, I didn't know that the trans stuff wasn't done yet. I didn't either. I had no clue. Yeah. A little more work, yeah. Yeah, Wizard could do it for sure. Color. Mm -hmm. Nassau blue is the right color. For that is color. the color for yeah. sure. Yeah, well, Rob, let's go for a test drive in your fastback, huh? Is that okay? Take it on the block. Yeah. That her shifter with the Tremec, because mine has the Tremec, but not this shifter. Just that. She great. just kicks right on. Oh, I know. Really good. It really does. And the patina on that hood is just so cool. This is such a conversation piece. Well, absolutely. For sure. The Corvette. Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, uh, it's gonna need some love. Taken apart, but it's all there. It is all there. I was thinking it was just a car that had been sitting for a while that needed going through. This one was kind of taken apart, you know, work in progress, and then left for yeah, years. For so someone to deal with. Someone like the Weezer, maybe? This is absolutely a home run right here. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no brainer. For sure. You have to buy it. I am going to buy it. I think I might have to work on Patty a little bit, though, on the Corvette. Yeah, I'd say maybe a little bit. I don't know, though. Ken, her husband, that loves that, he loves that car. And it's yeah. It's tough to get that knocked down. But, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it needs a lot of finishing. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the heck? We got a radio with that. Oh, oh yeah. Got radio. A working one. Yeah, it actually does work. Like, I shot. wouldn't touch that. Either. No, it'll fall no. right out. <laughs> so, no, might be just as cool. Well, obviously it won't move under its own power with the weight that is, but maybe we'll just see if it starts, if it turns over. Oh, absolutely, have to try. I'll hook up a battery pack to it, and Let's do it. that'll that'll help. All right. Well, that's on. Let's see. What do we have? It's come alive. No clutch. That's promising. It's spinning. Well, I brought a battery. What do you say? Yeah. Let's bring the battery. <laughs> Bam out. There. Okay. Oh, we really don't paint them back in. Squeeze. Big block cars, huh? Mm-hmm. That went in later to come out. Little, yeah, a lot easier. How about that? They usually do. Uh, okay. okay, we better put these wires back on because yeah. I might have a little mess. Just a bit. Thank you for your help. What you gonna do?
Can you smell the gas? Yeah, I got a little, I got a little starting to it. It will have a start. I wonder how I can keep it down. Oh, it's I'll right. stay over the front. I need my eyebrows seen. Okay, all right. I started to put the shifter together and then we made a little discovery right here. The uh, master cylinder for the clutch is not hooked up. Neither are the brakes. So he was upgrading everything when he put in that transmission. I guess it's a modern Tremec in there to back up the 427, which started after five years. It is a little more work than I thought. And so I've, I've made him an offer based on that. Maybe they'll see us, maybe, maybe. But I can't believe it started. Just unbelievable. Well, they said yes, no counter, it's mine. This is. This is all mine. A Nassau Blue 66 427, which is just unbelievable. Of course, 63 is the icon for the split window, which went down the middle. They got rid of that because people complained about the visibility, but it turned out to be an icon. But still, the 66 is such a car. First year of the 427, I believe. This one has the rally wheels on it. It is in very nice shape. It is definitely a clean driver and what looks like one heck of a rest of mod that started after five years. Big aluminum radiator. I guess there needs to be a hood somewhere, hopefully. A hood, yeah. Found the hood. <laughs> yep, there's the big bulge in the hood for the big blocks. Oh, it's beautiful. Just a little dirty. Just a bit, but I see the bolts down there, right? We can just bolt it back on for the trip. That'd probably be the way to go rather than throw it in the van. Yeah. Throw, you don't throw this. No, no, no. Yeah, perfect. What we got from there? Can you grab those steel screws that are piled up right there? Yeah. The ones on the, on the fender? Yeah, yeah. Right there. Quite treacherous. But last bolt on. We yeah. lined it up earlier. Yeah, I don't think you want to slam it down. No, no. Gentle, yes. gentle. Yes. Okay. Now it's just a matter of getting it on the trailer. Yours is much easier because it moves, Rob. Yeah. Rob made a deal on the Cayman and the Mustang. What's going on now? Holy smokes. I'm like, this stupid, this stupid grin on my face. It's never going the way. Nassau blue in the sun. Oh my goodness. It's just right, isn't it? It's just perfect. It's exactly the type of car you should have. Phil? Looks amazing. <laughs> All right. 427. Golly. Let me tell you, I know, I know very well. I am one lucky son of a gun looking at that thing in my rear view mirror. It is so beautiful. Nassau Blue 427. And here we are, 12 hours from when this day started. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I never thought anything would ever top those Lambo purchases back in December, but uh, this, man, this is close. And it's all made possible because you all watch these videos, you share them, you like them. If you haven't subscribed to Hoobies Garage yet, please subscribe. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for making all these Hoopty purchases possible. It is a Hoopty, but it's a 427 66 Corvette NASA Blue kind of Hoopty. It's unbelievable. We'll see what the wizard has to say. 
Thank you for watching.